ladies and gentlemen, there is nothing wrong with the projection. But you can't share the shock until you have the miracle movie mask. Then you will lift your mask as he lifts his, and you will look through it with him into the weirdest nightmare world that man has ever dreamed, the mask. The Mask is the first 3D Canadian feature film uh, uh, ever made. The film's in 2D and 3D, so the 2D parts are in uh, black and white, and the 3D parts are in color, and they actually sort of tell you when to put on the, the glasses. Both the character on the screen is sort of being compelled to put on this ancient mask that then transports him. The audience does it at the same time and we go into these, what really can only be described as psychedelic sequences, even though the film was made um, before uh, LSD and, and Tim Leary and all those folks were actually experimenting. <laughs> film or whatever you want to call it, moving image, is going through a very interesting transition right now. Uh, and I think a troubling one for people like the archivists of this world. I mean, there's a huge part of silent cinema that, of course, disappeared. It was ju it just, just vanished. It's gone. Uh, I'm not sure what the figures are, but it's about 30 or 40 percent of everything that was made in silent era. It just doesn't exist anymore. Well, TIFF can play a major role, just I think in terms of raising um, awareness around the whole issue of preservation. We're trying to, to work out what role we can actually play in terms of being the conscience of Canadian cinema and perhaps trying to identify what the masterworks of Canadian film are and making sure that the preservation material is somewhere and we've identified where that somewhere is. Canadians should be able to have access to the most important films historically that we've made in this country. Ultimately, for a place like Canada, which has a unique uh, moving image heritage, it's vitally important we preserve this. And so we can't see where our current artists, say someone like David Cronenberg, may have actually developed some of their early ideas. I think the history of Canadian film is always engaged with uh, genre. I mean, even Nell Shipman, when she was making her silence, were making sort of action-adventure wilderness films, which were, were absolutely a genre in the silent uh, era. You know, you can make a very effective horror movie on a lower budget, as movie history has shown us, than you can, say, a costume drama. If you look on the TV side, it's quite rampant, both in terms of the service production side and the, the series being made here. You know, everything from Orphan Black to Helix to Battlestar Galactica, one of the best sci-fi shows I've ever seen. And I think it's all connected to all of this history, which is why it's important to understand and preserve these movies, because maybe we would think that all these things occur somehow in isolation. So for example, a movie like The Mask is not totally removed from the idea of David Cronenberg making horror movies in Toronto and in Canada 15 years uh, later. <laughs> 